Welcome, this is John from Sow and Grow Regenerative. Um, another video for you guys and girls out there. And today we're going to be applying EM to our seedlings. Um, now, if you're going to be using EM as a foliar spray, what you actually want to do first of all is use a product like this. Okay. Um, So if you can call, it's called Prevazan. And basically it's a microbial agent that, so when you're putting EM on, you put this on first. What this allows to do is the EM to stick onto the leaves. Uh, leaves can be hydrophobic, which means that they repel water. And this just allows the EM to soak in. So it allows the EM to be on the leaves for longer. So that's the first thing we're gonna be applying. And we're just going to be using a simple spray bottle for that, just like that. And the second thing we're going to be applying is the EM. So I made this from EM1, which you can get at this store here. Okay. <clears throat> and the EM is made by the EM1. Obviously, see my previous video for that. EM1 with molasses, bioceramic powder and water. So you have 22 parts in total, 20 parts water. Make sure it's rain water and not tap water because otherwise you can have chlorine and chloramine in it. You can get over that hurdle by allowing the water to sit out for 48 hours and that will disperse a lot of the chlorine from the uh, water itself. So as I said 22 parts, 20 parts water, one part molasses, one part EM1 and then you can add for five litres, I added two teaspoons of bioceramic powder. You can get all of these on the, from the same website. So what we'll do first is we'll just go around and we're just gonna spray all the leaves with this. And then the EM inoculation is also in this one here. So we'll start off over here on the leaves, so really easy, just spray it like that, make sure you get a good spray bottle, so it gives you a nice little mist. You can also add this as a soil soak, easy as this, spray it all over, and really what you're trying to achieve from this is you want to give these seedlings a good microbial immune boost. We'll go over here as well and do this one. Move my coffee cup out of the way. It's got quite a smell to it. So that's what we need to do first of all. And then, so we've done that now. Best to do it on a day where there's no rain about. You know, leave a couple of hours for it to soak in. A good time to do this is actually in the morning when there's still dew on the leaves. Um, but, you know, you can experiment. Things are gonna change contextually depending on where you are, humidity, temperature, all that type of stuff. So next up is the EM, you just do it the same, I'm just going to do this, and as you can see, you do a close up money, you can just see that it's all just going to be resting on here, it's really this easy. get the old squashes down here and as you can see it's all sticking to the leaf so over the next hour or so as long as it doesn't rain we are drew rain this afternoon but hopefully it will hold off that will just stick on the leaf 
and then the leaf, the pores in the leaves will actually absorb that into the plant. And as I said, this is like taking micronutrients in your body or any supplements. So it's just gonna give it a big old boost. And I'll just do this. I'll do the chilies over here as well. Easy as that. Cool. Um, and also what I'll do is I forgot the old uh, peas. Get as much of the leaf as possible. As I said, you can do this as a soil soak as well. Now if you look, <clears throat> that's, that's hydrophobic, which means that the water's actually resting on the leaf. But what this does is this opens up the pores, this stuff here, the Previzan, opens up the pores of the leaf and just allows the EM to go inside of the cell of the leaf. As you can see, it's resting on there. And then we'll do the EM as well. Easy like that. So that's all you need. Um, also, what you can do is, both of these are really good for when a fruit tree or a fruit bush is coming into flower, you can actually, you can actually <clears throat> spray these straight into the flower itself. So if you have a problem with like certain types of fungus, also things like honeydew, um, these types of inoculation are perfect for getting rid of fungal infections. Um, I'll give you an example. My plum tree, my Victoria plum tree on the on my allotment plot is um, probably got something like black spot. I haven't quite identified what it is yet. Um, but the tree's suffering. So two of the things I've done is I've put up some pheromone traps to stop the plum moth from invading the tree. But the reason the plum moth's invading the tree is because the tree's unhealthy. So rather than trying to kind of, you know, as in society, we try to look at the effect or the symptoms, we need to try and look at the initial cause. So the plum tree is unhealthy, and that's why it's being attacked by the plum moth. So <clears throat> next week, I'll actually be doing this on the plum tree itself and I'll also do it for the rest of the, the trees and the fruit bushes on the allotment. So I hope that really helped. Um, share it with anyone you think would benefit from it. There'll be plenty more videos that I'm gonna be doing over the next couple of months based on my allotment and um, in Monica's garden. Um, and yeah, just keep experimenting because this is like a whole new world all of this stuff, the EM, and using things like biochar and electroculture, we're all kind of at the, the beginning of this frontier. Um, and we need as many people to do as many experiments in as many different climates as we can, because that way we can increase the health of our whole ecosystem, wherever that is, whether it's in your garden or whether it's on a 30,000 acre farm. Um, if we understand the biology and how all the plants are connected, we can help to boost their immune systems and that's just gonna pass through the network and to us. So thanks very much for tuning in. I hope you're all well. Keep sowing those seeds, keep you know setting those intentions. And until next time, take care. Thank you.